If there's no questions or comments from the council, there is a resident who signed up to speak, uh, Steve Hunt. Hello, Steve Hunt, 6300 Westbrook. Um, myself and others had come to speak today on the item, uh, the jail item that's listed further down, and then I saw this uh, item and thought since Clay Bennett, uh, one of the owners of the Thunder, is the guy primarily driving the jail issues, that it would be you know, probably a good idea to speak about this. Um, it was a, there was a lot said there. Uh, one thing that really stood out to me is that the $78 million from MAPS 4 is being diverted to this project. Um, I don't know if you recall, Mayor Holt, uh, many people had discussed doing similarly when COVID hit, um, you know, taking some of that MAPS money and using it to buy, you know, things to help with that. And you said none of these projects can be changed. So I think it's interesting the privileges that this ownership gets and they get to do things that we don't. Um, really concerned about the site location. I know what I say won't matter. Um, Hans Bucher, the designer of the Memor Murrah Memorial, said it's absolutely ridiculous to put an arena in the middle of a city like that because it's horrible for development. Um, I spoke with the, the individual who developed the Dallas Mavericks arena. They built it right outside downtown because that allows you to build a, a good core infrastructure downtown, apartments, stores, things like that, and then have your arena outside. So we have this big dead zone right in the middle of the city, which is completely ridiculous. Um, you know, I mentioned that uh, Clay Bennett, you know, one of the Thunder owners, is the primary person behind what's happening with the jail. Five years ago, he started C-Jack as a way to extract wealth. Um, a poor person of color on the east side is worth nothing to him. Locked them up, they're worth forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year through phone card contracts, food contracts, turnkey medical contracts, which is nothing but a wealth extraction tool, which leads me to something that I found recently. Um, if you go to the county, uh, county clerk page, um, Clay Bennett has been taking massive loans, leveraging the, the basketball team. Um, for whatever reason, he's taking these loans, I don't know. But I believe something sinister is going on with that. Um, Professional Basketball Club LLC is listed with J.P. Morgan Chase and uh, several others for the loans he's been taking out. And I'm concerned that maybe those loans aren't going so well, which is why we need a new arena, we need a new jail, we need all these contracts. Um, Todd, one of your uh, 30 Friday seconds remaining. guys told me before the arena thing happened that Clay intends to sell the team after the arena is here because the team will be worth $3 billion rather than $1.8 um, So basically I'd like for someone to look into these loans he's taking against the team because it's kind of worrisome to me. And um, thanks.